Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. It's been a few months since I've done a Unify News video, and this is for the month of March. There's been a couple things that have come out that I think will be interesting to the community, and I'd like to get your thoughts on. Also, if you're a part of their early access program, they are coming out with a lot of cool devices, so make sure you're checking in there regularly. So the first one I want to talk about is the Unify Talk application updates, where it's allowing us to do VPNs for remote users. I just did a video about this the other day, but they're now implementing it with Teleport VPN, which makes it so much easier. All we need to do is scan our phone, and then our phones will connect to our Unify OS console, and I'm really glad that they did that. Now, I think the next steps for Ubiquity with Unify Talk is getting it to different parts of the world, like Canada and Europe, and also having the ability to have a mobile app. We do see screenshots where it shows on their UID that they have a little talk application, but I would like a talk application that's not a part of UID. I think that would work better. Next up was the release of Unify Dream Machine OS 2.4.27, and I did a full separate video on this as well. This is the first stage of getting your UDM pros to be up to Unify OS 3.0. The next release should be something like 2.5.x and then we'll be pushed up to 3.0. I will leave that link down below to the video. And another thing that Ubiquity teased is a big update for the PTZ camera and this includes tracking. I'm hoping that they have patrolling with this as well. They put this out there on their community forums as well in their Discord. Let's take a look at the tracking feature. And I am going to be installing a PTZ camera at a customer's and we'll be able to test this and see if it works well. Next up, we have the release of the Wi-Fi Man Wizard Spectrum Analyzer. And there's still a few things that's missing from this. And Ubiquity did confirm under Crosstalk Solutions video for a few of these things. And what it says, thanks for the feedback. Confirming the following is on the roadmap for the Wi-Fi Man. So we're going to have the ability to save the floor plans and the results. We could compare results. We'll have the ability to push results to Unify Network, and we'll be able to push it to Unify Design Center, which is actually really, really good. The ability to be able to compare results will be very helpful if you do your initial scan and it's pretty weak in some areas, so then you move the AP and you want to compare that. They're providing us with a lot of utilities to be able to test our Wi-Fi networks. And the last thing we'll talk about is Ubiquity coming out with the NAS, and this is all speculation. I have no idea if they're going to or not. But on Reddit, we have Reddit user Duke under slash Seb, and he was able to create a NAS using his UNVR. And I do have a spare UNVR, so if you're interested in me walking through the steps that were provided on this Reddit post, and you could see if it works or not, let me know in the comments below. But if we scroll all the way down to these Reddit comments, Ubiquity did comment. They said, interesting product idea. How many of you would be interested in a Unify NAS? And of course, there was a lot of people who would be interested. And then there was a lot of people who think they should just stick to networking. I did post this question on the Ubiquity Professional Facebook page, and there was about 50-50 split. A lot of people didn't want it. And then there were people who were super excited if they had it like me. So that's going to be it for this news for March. Upcoming in the channel, we're going to be doing the G5 Dome review, and we'll also be doing the Unify Connect 21.5 inch Connect display review. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. All right, thanks.